Hey everybody, it's Riley with Exotic Aquatic. It's November 10th, 2022. We're gonna go over our new freshwater fish shipment this week. Let's go ahead and see what we got in. All right guys, first up we have in a bunch of these little Bloody Mary shrimp. I think we have about 10 to 15 of these guys left. Oh, there's a molt right there. These guys are growing. Uh, so these guys are a smaller species of shrimp. Um, generally these guys are kept in a tank with just different types of shrimp like them. So we have the red ones. We also get the blue velvets. Um, we can get neocardinias as well, so like the uh, fancier colors and everything. But if you're looking for a nice little starter into the shrimp hobby, these guys are great. It's really interesting to see uh, how they will actually reproduce in your aquarium and how they interact with everybody in the tank. Um, I'm starting to suggest having a, a fully planted tank for these guys, so there's plenty of room for them to hide. Um, we have a few of these guys left, like I said, so come by, check them out. All right, so next up, you can see these guys zooming in the back. We have some South American puffers. These guys are always a delight to have in the aquarium. Great community fish. If you're looking for a puffer fish, these guys are like little puppy dogs. Um, they'll start to associate you with food. They'll come up to the front of the tank when you're feeding time, reach you at the top and everything like that. Uh, looks like we have four or three of these guys left. Um, but as you can see, they're crazy active. Um, great in community tanks. We have them in here with some platies. We've got um, loaches in here everything like that um i would suggest getting them in a little group so i would say at least two to three of them just so they have some buddies to hang out with and they'll be as active as they are right now all right y'all next up we have in a dwarf species of cichlid which is going to be these german blue ramps uh we have some of them in a smaller size as well but i wanted to highlight the larger ones as you can see their coloration even better uh they're coming up to me because i think they're getting food but if you look at them, they have some absolutely stunning colors. This video does not do them any justice. And once they settle down in your aquarium, they become even brighter. They have some nice blue that goes throughout their face. So like an iridescent blue. So if you have like a nighttime light, that'll definitely glow. Um, but they also have some nice orange and some nice uh, yellow streaking throughout their body. There they are. They're starting to color up a little bit more. Um, down here we have in some Julii Cori cats. If you're looking for a nice schooling fish to kind of clean up your sand bed, um, gravel and everything like that, these guys are going to pick right through your sand bed and find any excess food and excess nutrients that may be laying around and potentially turn into nitrates. These guys are going to utilize them. Um, and next up we have in a ornate bicher. If you're looking for a pretty cool um, looking fish, these guys are very interesting. They do get a decent size, but uh, here he is he's coming up to greet us. He's got some nice markings on him, um, nice yellow markings, black body, super, super neat. And last but not least, we have in a clown knight fish. Everybody always loves them. Um, very interesting animal. They do get a decent size and they are more of a nocturnal animal, but you can train them to come out during the day. They have a really neat way of swimming. Um, so I definitely suggest coming by and checking these guys out and ask us to feed him when you come in so you can see him, how he reacts to that food. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for this week's video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to turn on our post notifications. But well, that'll be it for this week, and I'll see you guys next week.